Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Edge here in Bensonville, where tonight it is the Illinois High School State Championship of the Blackhawk Cup as the Carmel Corsairs take on the Trevians of Nutria, the white team, in an exciting game with championship consequences. Hello, everyone. I'm Jack Connerkey, and welcome to Bensonville, Illinois. The Corsairs have fought against two teams this year. They have played Loyola and won. They have played, of course, the big one, the 7-1 win over St. Ignatius and won. For New Trier, it's been wins against Lake Forest and more recently Tuesday night against Notre Dame. After the Corsairs win on Tuesday night, I talked to two of the Corsairs who contributed big in the game. First with Grant Stradler. Here's the interview. I definitely faced about 25 shots today. Um, they came out strong, and uh, we held them in the first period. And then after that, we started scoring, and from from there on, it, it got easier. So, and then we took the big lead. Yep. Uh, well, new new chair definitely has a tough tough program. You know, they have like 400 kids try out every single year, so. Uh, it's definitely going to be a, a big, big challenge for us, and we're looking forward to it. So really, we just played strong um, in our own, own zone, and um, you know they they had a lot of shots in the first period. So one excellent stopped. hockey player, I'll tell you that much. We, we one excellent the, hockey player. God, if I could do the splits like that, for you. can you? Um, I mean, came out strong, and you know, got the got the W. So. Yeah. Matt Marowick there contributing his two cents about Grant Stradler since he can do the splits. I don't know about that one. And now we go to Mikey Wysak, the senior, who scored a breakaway goal, and boy, was it a beauty. And here's that one. You know, it was, it was a rough start. You know, we probably had the pregame jitters, you know. Just need to get our, our feet under ourselves. And, you know, it's just a little rough start. It happens from time to time. You know, we just thought we needed to work hard and just give it everything we got. This is our state championship. This is our season, you know, we do it for the seniors, do it for everyone on the team, and just need to work hard and bust our luck. Your fourth and final year at Carmel Catholic High School, and you finally earned yourself a spot in the state championship. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. I can't even describe it right now. It's, it's unbelievable. Good luck, enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you again Thursday night. Thank you. There's what uh, Mikey Wysak had to say. We'll take a take, a quick break as both teams have came out on the ice. We'll be back in a moment. Enjoy this little highlight clip for you. On Tuesday night, the Corsairs faced off against the Wolfpack of St. Ignatius. And here is how that game went. They score! A center, they score! Short-handed goal! Goal of the game for Ignatius. Corsairs back the other way. And they score again! Wide, just to the right side. And they score! Corsairs with Wysak have an opportunity. They score! A center, you kept, they score! The Corsairs scored seven times in the win. It defeated the Wolfpack by a final of 7-2. to two. 
Tonight, the story is goaltending. With top goaltender of the year, senior Grant Stradler with a 1.5 goals against average in these playoffs and a save percentage of .943. Another story is junior Nick Kutro, who's been one of the Corsairs' most important players this season. It's a netastic night for hockey from Bensonville, Illinois, next here. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you into the edge in Bensonville, where tonight... Where... Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we welcome you back here to the Edge in Bensonville where the Illinois High School State Championship is coming up in a minute. Let's tell you about some of the starters that we'll want to keep an eye on tonight. Grant Stradler will get the start for the Corsairs. And in net to our left for the new Trevians. I'm not positive who will start yet. We'll take a quick break when we come back. The first period of the Illinois State Championship. That's coming up. Stay tuned. Carmel Hockey next here. Hello again, Jack Connerkey with you as we work through some technical stuff here before the game just to get everything ready to go. We meet the starting lineups now for the new Trier Trevians, the white team. And uh, it's, it's most important to note, by far, more than anything else, both teams tonight have the same amount of wins. Both teams have won two games. New Trier wins against Lake Forest in overtime and a 4-2 win against Notre Dame here on Tuesday night. Carmel with a regulation win against Loyola's Maroon team, a 3-2 win and a win, a big win here on Tuesday night against St. Ignatius that one being 7-1. In my introduction though, I did say 7-2 that was a mistake, I apologize for those of you at home. They now introduce the Corsairs and a good student section has arrived here at Carmel. They uh, are forming above the visiting bench, strategically located to wreak havoc in the heads of new Trier players. Uh, I'm sure that was what they thought. Corsairs introducing Davies, Vandervolk, Moore, Kennar, De La Cluz, Mike Kutro, Nick Kutro, as well as Matt Marowick, Joey Brada, Samson Namotka, as well as Nick Harma and Joe Pirelli. He gets a nice uh, loud cheer here. Uh, the national anthem is coming in uh, just a moment, but uh, first, 
just to remind you about the records for both of these teams in the regular season. New Trier was an 11-20-1 team. Carmel was 13-15-3 in the regular season. However, Carmel as a team has equaled uh, their wins and losses. They're at 500 uh, with a 13, uh, I believe actually 19-19-3 record. I, don't hold me to it. We now will rise for the national anthem. Enjoy, folks. A starring rendition of the National Anthem. So good it might have been pre-recorded. We welcome you back here to the Edge in Bensonville again. Where tonight it is the Corsairs against the Trevians. In the AHAI State Championship, the Blackhawk Cup, the white division. And Carmel fans are here. A a look-alike rendition of Vancouver's green men, Carmel's yellow man, waving a Carmel flag. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, he, I'm surprised he's not by the penalty box. <laughs> the Carmel fans have formed on the opposite side of the parents. Uh, it seems to be a, a normal event. And, uh, well, there's more Carmel people here than there are new Trier people, believe it or not. Of course, New Trier has uh, their green team going to the state championship on Sunday at the United Center, taking on Glenbrook North. So I guess they couldn't make it out here to Bensonville, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure we'll get some fans here for both sides. We are ready to go. No numbers for the starting goaltender in that Stefan Wallach. He started Tuesday versus Notre Dame. The only thing I can gather in these playoffs is a 1-0-0 record. Two goals allowed in that win against Notre Dame. Referees are here. Both teams are here. We're ready to go at center ice. The Illinois High School State Championship is underway. As the Corsairs win the draw. Dumping the puck up the left point there was Matt Marowick, but turned over quickly. Nico Meyer picks it back up, and Nutrier dumps it into the attacking zone. Corsairs pick it up back behind the net. Down went one of the Corsairs. No call, though. Held in around the near corner. Joe Pirelli, rather uh, rather Nick Harma there, my apologies. And the puck's carried back out to center where it's turned over by New Trier. In goal for the Corsairs, by the way, is Grant Stredler in two games. A 1.50 goals against average and a save percentage of .943. Trevians gain the line and they dump the puck in. Left at the near corner. Ian O'Connor picks it up for the Corsairs who regroup now with 14-11 to go in period one. Turned over at the neutral zone again. Check there in the boards. And the Corsairs finally get it past center into the attacking zone. Puck is bouncing, bouncing rather, back and forth right here in the neutral zone in front of us. Ian O'Connor for the Corsairs now. He'll take it past center ice. Throwing the puck on goal from about 100 feet out. Um, 13 minutes, 47 seconds now here in period one as the puck is sent... Into the far corner. Nick Kutra there trying to get it for the Corsairs. Held in right point. Ian O'Connor with a shot. And the save made by Wallach. The first shot on goal recorded in this game. 13-37 in period one. No score here in Bensonville. Both Corsairs, or both teams rather, had some opportunities. But Carmel gets the first shot on goal there. Puck was held in, and a shot hits in traffic out in front of the Carmel attacking end. We'll go back down the other way. Ian O'Connor picks it up, throws it back out to center. Trevians regroup. Puck went off a stick, and now it's into the Carmel zone. From the blue line they go. Puck bounces out finally. Ian O'Connor picks it up. A shot there. He dumps it into the far corner. Trevians pick it back up now. 
defensive end. Missing the puck there was number 60, Ryan Simba. Coming in now is the Trevians with a centering attempt there. They were looking for a number on the team I don't have. That's not going to be good this uh, tonight, I'll tell you that much. A number nine of New Trier. Thought I had them all. Guess I don't. Of course, here's back the other way. Here comes Nick Kutrow with an opportunity in. He's checked, though. Puck will bounce down to the near corner. Kutrow carries it along to the far side. Spinning back, trying to evade one defender. He gets past the first and then hits some traffic out in front. Tried to center it. And there was only Trevians. What is a Trevian? I couldn't tell you. I just know that's the mascot for New Trier. 12-26, period one. As Mac Moore dumps it in. Held in, almost held in at the right point there. It was Charlie Spring. He'll now get it. Flip back. Trevians try to set it. Grant Strudler will put a glove on it and freeze the puck. With 12.08 in period one, still no score. Again, uh, since uh, play resumed, both teams trading opportunities uh, at either end, and right off the faceoff, the linesman, uh, the furthest out, will pull the whistle. And we'll, I think the puck went out of play. Actually, Carmel will put somebody else in the faceoff down now, and the referee will blow the whistle again. The linesman, rather. The referee will go over to the box. They want his attention and the scoring box, the scorer's box, excuse me. Uh, and we might have an issue with the clock. At last check, I thought it was 13. Okay, they're going to add six seconds on. There was 11.52. Now it's 11.58. That was the holdup. Faceoff is won by the Corsairs. Picked up in the near corner. Thrown back out to Spring at the right point. He takes the shot. Hits some traffic out in front. Deflected wide and right of the net. Pinned into the boards there for Carmel was Mike Vogel. Trevian told it in. Near corner. Back behind the net. Trying to make some moves there was Charlie Spring again. My apologies. It was actually Samuel Shipko. Or Sam Shipko. Turned over. Corsairs try with the opportunity the other way. It was Joe Kennard. Trying to lead that rush for Carmel. The puck was just a little too far ahead of him. Trebian take a shot from the top of the left circle. Grant Stradler turned it wide. Carmel picks the puck back up. Tried to chip it along to Kanar, and that was Nemotka. Nemotka, excuse me. And a great stick there. Joe Kanar prevented what would have been a slap shot from Andy Magnick, who, by the way, has two goals in two games, both of which are game winners. The big number, 41 for New Trier. Pucks back out to center. Picked up by Nico Meyer now. And Magnet comes back the other way, trying for a centering attempt at the high slot. That puck hits some traffic out in front. Magnet was looking for a centering attempt, almost a tip in. Of course, there's Red that play all the way. Luke De La Cluz, the sophomore, gets the puck back out. Meyer. Comes in over the blue line now. Up the right point. He lets the puck go. Bouncing into the near corner and back behind the net. De La Cluse will get to it again for the Corsairs. Defensive end. And a big collision there. Almost turned over. Here comes an opportunity for the Trevians. A centering attempt. Loose puck in the crease. And the Corsairs come out with it. That was a golden opportunity for a new Trier. Here comes Matt Marowick back the other way for the Corsairs now. Taking it into the near corner. He goes down as that puck is rolled off the boards. Finally, the puck careens out. Corsairs hold it in. Joe Pirelli takes it back behind the net with 9.48 to go in period one. Still no score. Matt Marwick now and Pirelli back along the far boards. Finally bounces out at the far half side and a centering tip. There was a shot on goal there from all that. Corsairs just tried to pass it and off of a nutrient stick, the puck went to Stefan Wallet, who made the save. 9.39. Period one here in Bensonville. And leave it to my father to explain what a Trevian is. He says there used to be two new Trier high schools. One was the Trojans and the other were the Indians. The consoli they consolidated into one high school and they became the Trevians. How about it, folks? Pucks turned over. Nick Kutro takes a shot from the left circle. That one went high up and above. Thanks to uh, Jack Connerkey for that one there. The other Jack Connerkey. Jack Connerkey Jr. 
That's right, there's uh, more than just myself. Isn't that scary? Puck now bounces into the near half boards. New Trier's attacking it. Ryan Simba picks it up. A centering attempt here, high slot. They'll flip it over, top of the left circle. A shot there, goes just back behind the net. Up the far post. Held in by Spring at the right point. He's getting a lot of playing time. That is Spring, uh, Charlie Spring. Been out a lot on this ice in the first uh, few minutes of this game. 15-minute periods, and we're 8.45 remaining in this first. Kutra will chip the puck in. Down to the far corner it goes. It's brother Mike there to race in and try and get it. Trevians regroup now. Back pass center. Here they come into the attacking zone. A shot there, and Grant Stradler gets a hold of it. Icing the puck with 8.26 to go in period one. A pass and a shot that was just a... A little too hot to handle. He found a way to cover the puck up. Great crowd here. That shot right from the left point. Stradler makes the save. Love save again, an easy one. From about 60 feet out. Again, Jack Connerkey here with you. At the edge in Bensonville, the West Rink. Corsair's back the other way. Joe Pirelli in. He takes his shot and it went wide right of the net. Good opportunity for the Corsairs as they hold it in. Pirelli picks it up, back up, right point. Big collision. Helter Skelter at the moment. Trevians get it in. Brian Chow, Chio, Chio, excuse me. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that name wrong and I sincerely apologize. Joe Pirelli will pick it up at center. Hands it off to Matt Marwick, but it went off his stick into the attacking zone for Carmel. Matt Marwick gets it. Centering attempt there for Wysak. Didn't work. Marwick holds on near corner. He's checked into the boards. Wysak in to save the puck. Held in by De La Cluse, left point. Now back down. The Corsair's trying to force that puck in. But they're not playing in front of the, uh, in front of the net. In the middle of the ice. That's where you're going to score your goals. Down with a Trevi in there. Carmel with some good defense in their defensive end. That kind of makes sense. Puck bounces back. Dave LeCluse will get it now in the near corner. With 7.02 to go in a fast-paced and back-and-forth period one. Puck taken back behind the net. And the course stairs with Joey, Joseph DiBartolo. Uh, there, and I didn't think he'd play tonight. He suffered a separated shoulder on Tuesday night. Actually, one of the Carmel goals centered the puck, and somewhere in the process, I don't know if he was hit or not, but a separated shoulder. He's playing through the pain. That shows a lot about his character. I think somebody with a separated shoulder, that's the end of their hockey season, or at least they're out for a few weeks. But he's in, and here comes Nutrier into the net. A shot there. Puck bounced off some traffic back behind. Held in at the far half boards now. That was Ryan Peterson with two assists and two points. Still looking for his first goal in these playoffs. Mike Kutro. And we get a whistle, a penalty, or not that. The referee blows the whistle. We'll see what happens. The net's off of its moorings. No penalties, just a dislodged net. That stops play with 6.02 to go in period one. To my right, it's uh, a packed Carmel fan base. To my left, uh, there's Nutrier fans. And then all of the Carmel fans perform right behind the visiting bench. A blast there. That came from Meyer at the right point. Bounced wide. Corsair's back the other way. Nick Kutra. He's got an opportunity. Kutra to the net. Empty net, and the puck went wide right. A centering attempt there. That was a good opportunity, and much to the... Sadness of Carmel fans. Carmel's golden opportunity denied somehow. As if the puck had a string on it. Wide right. Corsairs try to center it again. Another opportunity off a stick. Blast from the point. That one hits some traffic out. It bounces to the left point. Now the physicality steps up. 
Corsairs again. The puck bounces out. Nick Crucio tries to chase it down. Taken and held in by the Corsairs at the right point. Now Nutria is finally able to clear it, and they'll get a line change, a much-needed one, with 5.06 to go in period one. That puck bounces down to the uh, far corner, and Matthew Garcia will pick it up for the Trevians. Now past center ice. Pass there for Shao, Shao, excuse me, turned over. Corsairs back the other way. Joe Prelli with some skating room, but quickly that door closed. And two Corsairs collide with each other. Still, a shot comes from the top of the right circle. Play stops with 440 in period one. And it was an understatement. The physicality has exponentially increased. Still two very large zeros on the board here. And a shot there. That one went just off of uh, Wallet there. Corsairs hold the puck in. That's good. A centering attempt. That one went through the mouth of the goal. Held it around the near corner now. Puck bounces back out. Zach Shinarowski picks it up. And the puck is taken at center. Matt Marwick now. Back to Shinarowski right in front of the penalty box and a big collision that follows. No calls yet, no penalties in this game so far. Here comes Mikey Wise second. Takes the puck back behind the net through the trapezoid. Not that the trapezoid is used in high school hockey, but we can still describe it as what it is. Shot in front from Marwick, hit traffic and back out the other way. Puck's dumped from center into the new Trier attacking zone. Stradler out to play it. And the Corsairs couldn't get it back. Big hit in the uh, near boards. Corsairs pick the puck up. Leading the rush now. Here comes a shot. That one went off of the, uh, the pads of Wallet. Looked to be, it was in fact Vogel. It was uh, John, or, I'm sorry. We'll get back to it in a moment. It was Matt, Michael Vogel, number 22. He's the freshman, by the way. Came right off the box and picked up the puck. Out of the bench, I should say. My apologies. 2.58 to go. Period one now as the puck is in the Trevians attacking it. The near corner. Corsairs pick it back up. Skating for room, trying to get the puck. And a big hit there. Watch out. As Joe Graves was blindsided. Trevians in. Trying to make a nice move. Good stick there by Carmel's defense. Back the other way, a three on two. Kanar coming in up the right boards. He takes a shot. That one bounced out back behind the net. Down is Wallach, and the puck went into the padding that forms the, uh, the bottom end of the net. That'll stop play with 2.28 to go in period one. Both teams with a line change here. Faceoff comes into the neutral zone. Nick Kutro to the faceoff dot. Trevians win the faceoff and they'll take it out to center. Corsairs turn it back over though. It's Nick Kutro. Puck knocked off his stick and now it's the Trevians back. A two on two rush. Leading that with Simba. Down to the near corner. Back by the net. Wrap around attempt. That one went right through the goal mouth. Joey Brada picks it back up for the Corsairs now. Hands it off to Mike Kutra at the point. Kutra and that shot hit a stick and bounced up and out of play with two minutes to go. In the opening period on Tuesday night, when Carmel took on St. Ignatius, both teams iced the puck maybe five or six times each in that first period. Lots of icing calls. We haven't seen it here yet. That's not to say that it won't happen, but you never know. Face off is won by the Corsairs. Wysak lets a shot go and a tremendous save by Stefan Wallach. Wow. Talk about a blast. Face off comes to the right of Wallach now. 
Corsair's attacking, and Pirelli wins the draw and chases the puck down. Centering a tip here, a shot, and then they score! Colonel on the board first. A tip in there might have been Shenarowski if he's on the ice. The Corsairs have a 1-0 lead with a minute 49 to go in period one to the ovation and the loud cheers of Carmel fans. Nobody seems to know who scored it. And it is loud in here. It is alive, energetic. We will wait. I assume the public address announcer. Oh, that one was a. Matt Marowick gets the goal for Carmel. Good, thank you. And uh, we will get a stop and play here. Not sure what that was about. Marwick gets the goal for Carmel. Not sure about assist, but that gives Carmel the one nothing lead. And right off the face of a whistle, the referee making some sort of foreign hand gestures. Not sure what that means, but looks like Joe Pirelli is going to go to the box. Or not. Not sure what that was about. Thought Joe Pirelli was getting ready to go to the box. That would have been unfortunate. Marwick gets goal number two in these uh, in these playoffs. Now with two goals and an assist on the year. Three points in total. Trevian's back the other way now, skating into the attacking end. Puck's taken back behind the net. Now from the slot, a shot there. They looked for a tip and didn't work out. Corsairs pick it back up with some speed. Now past center ice. Coming in is Vogel. Vogel lets the puck go back behind the net. Uh, less than a minute to go in period one. One nothing in favor of the good guys. Carmel. Or for anyone else. Just Carmel, they have the one nothing lead. Trevian's in, a shot there, centering attempt, but uh, hit some legs out in front, and that puck is thrown out of play. No delay of game penalties in high school hockey, but uh, if there was, that would have earned the course series a two-minute penalty. At the NHL level, however, it's a different story. Face-off is to the right of Grant Stradler. In a somewhat chilly day in spring, puck's thrown back the other way. Puck will go far enough uh, for a centering attempt here, not icing. Two good opportunities, two good passes by the Corsairs. Got that puck in front of the net. Shenarowski held it in at the right point. I apologize. I thought Shenarowski was on the ice. I saw the six in the back. I didn't see, um, well, Zach Shenarowski's 46. Matt Marwick's 16. Close numbers. It's an honest mistake. Anyone could have made it. 23 and 9 tenths. That's the remaining time. Separating us from the end of period one. Linesman drops the puck and we're back underway. Shenarowski gets it for the Corsairs. Passed it to Joe Kinnar off his stick and finally bouncing to, to Nick Kutro, excuse me. Corsairs gain the line. A shot there. Held back, Ian O'Connor from the right point, hit traffic out in front, and one of the course steers went down. The referee did not indicate a penalty. The linesman either. Linesman actually was the closest one. His time has expired here in the first 15 minutes. Carmel off of a Matt Marowick goal at 1.49 remaining. Gives the course steers a 1-0 lead. We'll be back in a moment. This is Carmel Hockey.
We welcome you back here. Jack Connor, keep getting you ready for period two. We don't have an indication of shots on goal. We will try and get them at some point in this game. 15 new minutes on the board. It's period two. Kutro coming in. He took a shot that was blocked. It's turned over by Sam Berman with a goal and an assist in two games for the Trevians. Carmel really filled out the, the score sheet, the, the statistics sheet, rather, in this postseason with that win on Tuesday night. Seven goals and scored by a plethora of Corsairs, including uh, Joey Brada, Jared Moore, who short, uh, scored a, a shorthanded goal, a rare one. Kutra with a shot there, hit some traffic on front. Goals as well for Mike Vogel, Ian O'Connor, Matt Marwick, Mikey Wysak, and Samson Nemotka. Unbelievable. And that was a team that was held only three goals against uh, the Loyola Maroon Ramblers. Trevian told the puck in, a shot there. Wow, the rebound as well, somehow didn't make it. Grant Stradler was down and Gave an empty net near the far post. Corsairs pick the puck back up. Back the other way we go. Mike Kutro coming in. Stops at the right circle. Knocked off his skates. Just in time for a turnover. Here comes New Trier in now. It's Ryan Peterson in. He lost the puck off of Ian O'Connor's stick. And a big hit there. Peterson goes down to the ice. Corsairs back the other way. Brada comes in. Trying to make some nice moves. Holds the puck to the right circle. Turnover once more. Peterson's up off the ground. After a huge hit, he just uh, was on the uh, the bad end of. 13-03 in period two now. On the scoreboard, you can see it's a one nothing game in favor of Carmel. Center ice again in the neutral zone. Puck dumped down. Going to get it is John Healy, the sophomore. Back out to center. Puck's taken back behind. Stefan Wallach, the goaltender, will play it. Pirelli takes it back. Tried to throw it to Wysak up the near half boards. Ian O'Connor held it in, right circle. Puck finally goes out. Trevians will dump the puck in and get a line change. Some fresh legs on the ice. Puck's back the opposite way now. Joe Pirelli coming in. He took a shot. It took a funny bounce there. Wow. And bounced wide up into the air. Somebody went down. No penalties called so far in the game. Knock on wood. Trevian's in. Nice move to the net. Carmel's defense really plays tight in front of the net, and that's what's preventing New Trier from scoring at the moment. Pucks back out to center. 11.50 to go. Picked up at center by Colin McBride. In over the line, a shot there from Mac Moore and Grant Stradler freezes the puck. 11:42 now in this second period of play. You know, you talk about the the bracket and the way that teams were seated. Talk about something funny. Kerry Grove was seated, the number one overall team in this bracket in the white class or division, if you will. As the centering attempt. The secondary shot, both stop, loose puck in the crease, and Grant Stradler gets a hold of the puck. Phenomenal sequence right there. New Trier with several great opportunities to score, and Grant Stradler somehow, someway, found the puck. Score stays the same. But going back to my point, I was saying that Kerry Grove was the number one seed, and then they went on and played St. Ignatius, who destroyed them 12 to 2. Carmel came out and destroyed St. Ignatius 7 to 1. So I guess the seeds uh, don't mean anything but well that's the same case in March Madness. Everybody's been trying to predict their brackets and you know put that all together. I refuse to do it. Gives me a headache. 11 17 to go now period 2. Trevians come back in. Dump me the puck in from the uh, the right point. Mike Kutro there. 
Takes it right in front of his net, and then a bad pounce went off of Brada's stick. Back into the Trevians defensive end. Matthew Garcia now. Carried it momentarily. Mike Kutrow in to turn it over. He'll take it back and hand it off to his defenseman. Shenderoski back to Kutrow now. Mike Kutrow made a nice move there. He gains the line. His stick was lifted. A Carmel power play coming up. Right now, Carmel to the power play. The first penalty of the game. And he lifted his stick. And then the referee called the penalty. We'll see what it is. Into the box is Nico Meyer. At 10.38 in period at number two. Well, we await for the call here. I believe the call was hooking. Yep, that's the call. Meyer to the box for hooking. Carmel on their first power play of the game. They were two for seven last night, or two nights ago, I should say. Kutro back up, top of the left circle. Puck bounced off of Wallach and near the empty net. Just went shy of the far post. Puck is cleared back out. Grant Stradler, Stradler excuse me, will play it. Rather, I can't even talk right now. With a minute 30 to go on the Carmel power play. If you do the math, actually, Carmel was uh, efficient 14% uh, of the time with power play opportunities. Their second and third goals, rather, their, yes, their second and third goals in that game, my apology, third and fourth were all power play goals. Big one of the night, Jared Moore's shorthanded one. As you saw in the wonderful highlights, Ian O'Connor takes the puck over the line. Up the right circle now. Back behind the net. Tries for the wraparound. Centering a tip. And Joe Kinnar had a great opportunity. Puck went wide and left. Held in near corner. 42 to go on the power play. Kinnar takes it to the net. Tries to stuff it in. Loose puck out in front. And they play on. That puck is finally cleared out with half a minute to go on a Carmel power play that's probably already got two or three shots on goal. Puck missed Pirelli. It'll go far enough for icing. Stopping play at 8.59. Faceoff will go down 200 feet to the right of Grant Stradler. Wow, that was a great opportunity for Joe Kennard. Both teams have had good opportunities. Most of them strangely empty net scenarios where the goaltender was off one post. And here's an opportunity, by the way. Hugging that post was Grant Stradler. And Matt Marowick will pick it up. Eight seconds to go on the man advantage for Carmel. Four now. Marowick gains the line. Penalties expired. Five on five. A centering attempt. Through the skates of Pirelli, he couldn't get a shot off. And Stephen Wallach was able to make the save after the play. Matthew Garcia pushed Pirelli, and it'll be interesting to see if the referees or the officials here tonight will call a penalty for it. And they won't. Everything will stay five on five. Charlie Spring was the guilty party. He was the one who pushed Joe Pirelli. And instead of giving him a penalty, they just said, hey, go to the bench. Take a, take a shift off. And that's what he'll do. Trevians pick it up in the defensive end. And that one's going to go far enough for icing. No, it's not. They'll wave it off. Strange. Oh, well. It's no touch icing here. And when Nick Harmo was fully committed to that puck, after it had gone past the line of icing, you knew it wasn't. Back out to a setter. Dumped in by New Trier. Jared Moore there. Trying to get to the puck. It's centered, but now off of Moore's stick. Mike Kutrow helps it along, and Nick Kutrow throws it out to center. 
Trevian coming back in the other way now. A shot from the top of the right circle. Turned off by Grant Stradler. 7.42 in period two. Corsair's back the other way. Joey Brada coming in. Up the left circle, and he's thrown into the boards at the near corner. Far corner, my apologies. Penalty coming up here, and it's going to go against New Trier again. A Carmel power play will come up once more. And into the box again is Nico Meyer. He was just in the penalty box. Second penalty in less than three minutes for Nico Meyer. Don't break the glass on your way in. And that would be, to me, a slight indication of frustration. Holding the call against Meyer. Hooking and holding the two H's. There isn't a penalty for hugging. That would be the three H's of penalties. Kutro back to Shenaroski right point. Tried to center it at the high slot there with Mikey Wysak. Held in now, left point. A blast here from Shenaroski. That one just off the right pad of Wallach. Back to Shenaroski again. Right circle. Off of a skate, one of the new Trier defenders. Wysak loses the puck in the near corner. Puck bounces out. Corsairs hold on to it. Kutra will take it with skating room. He shoots. That puck went just up over the near post. Ian O'Connor left point with a minute five to go on this power play. Shenaroski, a shot there and covered. Glove saved by Stevan Wallach. 62 seconds to go on a Carmel power play that so far has looked phenomenal. 6.34 to go in period two. one nothing Carmel. And uh, anywhere you look in this rink, there are Carmel fans. Some by the Zamboni, some behind the benches, others in various corners of this rink. Shenaroski's puck, uh, shot rather, goes up and out of play and potentially near that very expensive lighting equipment that just hangs unprotected from the ceiling. Target practice, hit the mirror on one of those lights. Don't want to pay the bill though, with now 44 seconds to go in this power play. Pucks back out, Nutrier coming in shorthanded. A shot there, Grant Stradler will throw it back behind the net. Thought he was going to ice the puck, but elects to continue play, and the momentum that Carmel has on this power play will continue up until that pass there. Mike Kutro couldn't get it. But here comes Joe Pirelli in. He lost the puck at the blue line. Shenaroski now. Brada comes in. He's got Mike Kutro at the right circle. Pirelli threw his skates, couldn't get to it. Now here comes Shenaroski in. Shenaroski shot. A great block there. Ryan Peterson put his body on the line, blocked the shot. And because of that, the puck went up into the protective netting, stopping play. 5.38 to go, period two. Six seconds left on Carmel's second power play of the game. They're 0 for 1. And Nico Meyer can't wait to get out of the box. He's already, now well, it's become a familiar place for him in this game. Taking both of the minor penalties so far. New Trier will kill off the rest of the time on the power play. They come back in, dumping the puck off the glass to the far corner now. Five on five hockey. That puck bounced off. Shredler went wide to the near side. Back out to center. Joe Kennard lost the puck. And Macknick picks it back up. A blast from the right point there. Hit traffic out in front and deflects wide down to the far corner. Held it again by New Trier's white team, the Trevians. It was a mixture of Trojans and Indians. That's a scary mix of history. Vogel was the lead man for the Carmel Rush. Lost the puck though, now finally Kinnar picks it up. Back to Vogel, back to Kinnar at the right circle. Kinnar tries to take the puck in. A centering attempt, Vogel tried to get his shot off. Didn't work out, didn't work out, excuse me. Vogel will pick it back up, takes it to the net from a weird angle. Puck bounced wide of Wallach. Corsair's holding the puck in the neutral zone. Kinnar at the right point. 
trying to get that puck back in. Corsairs will get it back to center. And throwing the puck in there was Namatka. Nutrier will regroup as Carmel gets a line change. Some new Trevians on the ice as well. With 4.13 to go in period two. Trevians coming in, back behind the net. Around the far post, and they'll take it right back the other way. That was Brian Shaw there. A shot through traffic, and a good stick by Ian O'Connor to take the puck out of a, the danger zone. Corsairs come back the other way. A two on two, and tons of room to skate. Wysak in. Throws the puck back behind. A centering attempt for Joe Pirelli. Good stick there. And the new Trent Trevians get it back out. Lead rush, uh, the pass was to McBride, and he lost it down to the, the near corner. Ian O'Connor now. Here comes a shot. That one was wide right. Shot coming from Matthew Garcia. Puck bounces out. Joe Pirelli picks it up. Now here comes Joey Brada in. Brada, rather Mikey Wysak. My apologies. Puck went up over the net. Big hits in this game. New Trier back the other way. Myers in, looking for redemption after those two penalties he's taken. To the right circle. A centering attempt. They hack away at the puck. Scott up, caught up in some sticks and skates and everything else. Puck bounces out to Pirelli. He'll throw it back the other way. Not far enough for icing at all. Two minutes, 52 seconds to go in the middle period of play. Garcia over the blue line in to the new Trier attacking zone. A shot there and a glove save by Grant Stredler. Stopping play with two minutes, 46 to go. In what is a fast-paced game, hey, that's hockey for you. I had the opportunity to talk to Nick Kucherow before the game tonight. And... Uh, you know, he, he was honest with me. I said, there will be no camera. There'll be no phone interview. We're just I just want to get your opinion on the game. He said, I think I'm going to be nervous to start, but when that first shift starts, as Nutri goes off sides, when that first shift starts and when I get out of there on the ice and start skating around, nervousness will be the last thing on my mind. I'm roughly paraphrasing, but that's what he said. Nick Kutro, of course, one of the big stars for the Corsairs. And his brother is an uh, emerging star as well. A freshman, he scored uh, the first goal of the game on Saturday. A goal and a point. Nick Kutra with a goal and an assist and two points, including one power play goal in, these, uh, in this postseason, which has been two games. Single elimination. Two minutes, 26 seconds to go now. Brad has checked into the boards. Interesting hit. No penalty. We'll continue on. No Carmel fans did want it. They're not going to get it. Corsairs hold the puck in. Brada picks it up. Left circle. Somehow manages to hold that puck right between his skates. Nick Kutro now. Pinned into the boards but holds on to the puck. Shenderowski right point. Look for a tip there from Mike Kutro. Puck went wide right. One minute, 53 to go in this second period of play. Trevians get it out to center. And now it's cleared back the other way. Shedorowski will pick it up for the Corsairs. A minute, 36 to go in period two. Carmel comes back the other way now. Kutra with a blast. Puck bounced off of uh, the blocker pads there of a uh, rather... Just the pads. Stefan Wallach. And down went one of the Corsairs. It was Nick Kutro to try and get the puck. Mike Kutro back the other way. He's got three Trevians in front of him, but he'll take the puck in. Made a nice move to the right circle. Back behind the net he goes. Centering attempt. Nobody there for Carmel. Mike Kutro able to hold on to the puck. All over the place. Here comes an opportunity for Brada. Takes it to the net. Second opportunity. Puck just up and over. Several good opportunities here for Carmel on this shift with under a minute to play in period two. Face off. Rather, the puck's turned over at center. Joe Pirelli comes in. He shoots, and it's stopped by Wallach. Held on to the puck, though. Back to the far corner. Puck finally turned over, and the Trevians back the other way. 36 seconds to go, period two. Trevians looking to tie or go ahead. Puck knocked off the stick there. Joe Pirelli 
was there for the course there's playing a little bit of defense himself and he's a forward puck thrown back down through the skates of Nick Harma 18 seconds to go long pass is turned over at the blue line could have been a bad opportunity for New Trier trying for the centering attempt now that puck's off the glass held at right point and a big check there Joe Pirelli finishing that one we have played 30 minutes here at the edge in Bensonville the score, Carmel won. The new Trier White team, nothing. Carmel is an intermission and 15 minutes away from the first state championship in since 2006, if they can do it. New Trier and Carmel have stuff to talk about. They'll get it done in the locker room. We'll take a break. Again, after two periods, Carmel has the lead, one nothing. This is Carmel hockey here on Play On Sports, IHSA TV.
We welcome you back here as both teams skate back out. We're ready to start period three in a moment. But first, take a look on your screen. You'll see a picture from uh, the yearbook, the 2006 Carmel yearbook. That's the last Carmel team that won state. And at the time, my understanding was it was a combined program. Carmel and Mundelein both uh, participated as one team. Uh, you see there a long time ago in Carmel history, uh, well, to me it is. I mean, I don't even know how old I was then, but uh, quite a while back. It's been a long time since Carmel's been in this place having a bid to, to win the state championship. We just wanted to give you a quick uh, show of the, the boys and girls that uh, were playing back then for Carmel that won them the state championship. A program that the year before, my again, my understanding was they only had four wins in the season. Then they come back the next year and they win the state championship. So there you go, the 2006 AHAI Blackhawk Cup uh, championship team. A shout out to the alumni who might be watching this game. I know there's a whole bunch that uh, that are. Actually put this uh, the link up for this game on the student uh, created uh, Facebook uh, fan page for this game. Shots on goal through two periods. Officially from the scorer's box. New Trier with seven shots on goal in the first and 12 in the second. A total of 19 shots on goal. Carmel, eight in the first, seven in the second. 15 shots on goal in total. And that's where we stand as of 30 minutes of play. New Trier wins the faceoff, taking the puck into the nicely resurfaced ice. Centering attempt there. A block made, and the puck is cleared out for the moment. Another shot from the right circle. New Trier coming fast and quick early on in this uh, first period, or their third period, excuse me. Who knows what I'm trying to say. Mikey Wysak picks it up off of a stick of one of the new true defenders. Joe Prelli back the other way over the blue line. Marwick coming in, lost the puck in the left circle. A centering attempt there, and a great chance for Joe Pirelli. 14-16, period three. Puck back out the other way. Trevians get it back. Pass center ice now into the attacking zone. Losing the puck in the blue line, they went off sides. Andres George, George, George Itis. G George Itis. Again, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing names correctly. Uh, I believe it's Georgiitis that went off sides. Number 89 of New Trier. Meyer picks it up. The near side through the puck almost off the glass. Macknick went off sides as well, coming in for New Trier at the right point. And as I said, the... Uh, Upper level for New Trier. The New Trier green team is playing at the United Center on Sunday. That'll be exciting. That game's on Comcast Sportsnet, my understanding. As well as the girls and the combined games. A centering attempt. The puck went off of a stick or a skate or something. Might have found the post as well, but taken into the near corner. A centering attempt. Good stick there. Carmel's defense coming up big when it counts. Held in at the blue line. Back and forth. Players hacking away at the puck. Mike Kutro, Off to Nick Kutro. The Kutro factor. It's a nice television show. Made that up, but uh, it certainly sounds like it when you see those two coming down the ice. Nick Kutro tries to get the puck at the right point, but it's sent back out. Of course, there's defensive end. 13.09 to go, period three. In a one to nothing game, Shenarowski sends it from center ice. Of course, here's get a line change. Trevians come back the other way. By the way, for those of you just turning in, this is the state championship. Kinnar comes in. Hit some traffic out in front, loose puck, and Wallach made the save. 12 38 to go. Carmel was in the red division last year. 
with a first round loss to Mount Carmel at Glacier Ice Arena, their home rink in Vernon Hills. What was a hard game to watch as a fan. Game Carmel came back down from that game. That was all the way back in February of last year. Corsairs were down two to two to one to start the third period and came back rather three to one. Came back with two unanswered goals, only to go on and lose in the final three minutes of that game. A stunning goal that I've seen 20 times is Joe Salvi spinning in front of the net to tie the game up. But that was then. This is now. 12-16 to go. State championship game. Face off is to the right of Stefan Wallet. Trevians throw the puck along. Held it at the right point. A shot through traffic. Hit the glass. Out back behind the net. Joe Pirelli held it in. Back to Matt Marowick now. Puck's turned over by the Trevians. Exactly 12 minutes remaining. Puck's now into the near corner. Big hit there. Oh, that was a good chance for the Corsairs. Harma holds it in. The right half boards. Puck's back behind the net to the near side. And another big hit. Corsairs with an opportunity here. Marowick. Had the puck momentarily. Joe Pirelli leveled one of the opponents of New Trier. In a move that all maybe 2,000 Carmel fans or so cheered loudly about. And a penalty coming up here. And the referees are going to have to step in as the emotion of the game is getting to these players. Take a deep breath, boys. New Trier... Looks to have a power play coming up. That's in fact the case as Joe Pirelli is going to go to the box. That'll be that'll be the first period or the first penalty of this period. Joe Pirelli's in the box for four minutes. At 11, at 11.10 in period number three. Corsairs come back shorthanded now. Joey Brado with a centering attempt. And uh, I couldn't tell what the penalty was again. The acoustics in here are strange. That puck went off of uh, the blocker pad of Grant Stradler. So Carmel's going to have to dig deep here. and Because they're shorthanded for the next three and a half minutes or so. Meyer holds the puck in. Right point. Able to keep it in. Thrown back behind the net, trying for the wraparound. Ian O'Connor with a good stick there, turns it back. And the Corsairs get it out to center. And another penalty coming up. It's going to be five on three. Or they went off sides. That's, nope, that's the case. Tripping against the Corsairs. So hold on a minute. At 10.04 in this third period of play, Carmel will get another penalty. Into the box is Zach Shenorowski. And a timeout will be called as we try and collect our thoughts. Carmel Coach Mike Rosinski has called a timeout, or rather new Trier, my apologies. And when the timeout is over, new Trier will have a five on three for two full minutes, followed by 52 more seconds if they don't do anything. 
uh, if they don't score once or twice. If they score once, that'll negate the first penalty within the two minutes, and they score again, that'll negate both penalties. But right now, as it looks on the board, a five on three, a great opportunity to score. Carmel will put Carmel will put uh, looks to be Nick Harma or maybe Ian O'Connor. It'll be Ian O'Connor, Nick Cutro, and one other Corsair, and Grant Stradler. That's the only thing Carmel has to protect against five Trevians. Ten minutes, four seconds to go in period number three. A dangerous situation. Faceoff is won by Carmel. Ian O'Connor throws it out. And they're unable to hold on to it in the neutral zone. It'll go. Meyer takes it at the right point. Pucks off some sticks there. They're battling for it at the right point. Corsair's trying to get They clear it out. Carmel somehow gets the puck and clears it down to the far corner. 1.38 to go on this 5-on-3. 9.39 to go, period 3. Carmel playing some... Tight defense. Three down in the crease. Yet still trying to prevent the passes. Nick Kutro blocks his shot and that one went off traffic out in front. Kutro got his stick on it. Meyer back to the top of the left point. A centering attempt there. They hack away at it and the puck's finally cleared out. Held in again. Off to Meyer. Top of the right circle. Meyer takes it back. Hands it off. Top left circle. Now back to Meyer. Passing back and forth. Tipping it, and they score! An easy goal. Easy in the fact that, well, all it involved was top shelf right in front of Grant Stradler. A tied game, negating the first penalty, but still with a minute 52 of power play time. New Trier will still have a five on four advantage. Who scored the goal? Looks to be Andrew Macknick. So uh, we'll assure that for you in a moment here that that was in fact the goal scorer. The referees will now go to the box and try and determine what's going on. Shenderoski's penalty is over. Joe Pirelli will remain in. He was essentially serving two penalties given a four-minute misconduct, I would imagine. Now, Coach Mike uh, Rosinski will speak to the referee and try and get an explanation here. Generally, the first penalty is the one that uh, would end. They've now taken off the Shenaroski penalty, leaving a minute 52 of power play time for the Trevians who have a great opportunity here to jump ahead. No call yet on who scored the goal. So five on four, now that all the conferencing is done and both parties have an understanding of what's expected of them, we can continue on with play. A minute 48 to go in this uh, power play. 8.56 to go in period number three. A 1-1 game. Trevians have tied it. Puck's taken at the left circle. A shot there is deflected off and the course there is clear it down the length of the ice. All 200 feet of it. 8.40 to go. A minute 26 to go on the penalty. It's a new Trier power play. Get in the puck at center with Shinaroski. He threw it into an empty end of ice in the Carmel attacking end. Back deep was Kanar. He'll have to race back now. It's a three-on-three three back the other way. Big stick there. And Grant Stradler will freeze the puck. 8.20 to go. In this third period.
don't ask me what the public address announcer is saying. Won't be able to tell you, but I believe Magnet got the goal. Here comes an opportunity. That one's denied. The rebound out in front. Good pad save there by Grant Stradler. Trevians hold on to the puck. Left point. 53 to go on the power play. The four-minute penalty assessed to Joe Pirelli. You know, Connor picks it up. Blast it down, and they will not be able to hold the puck in. Trevians will race back down to get it in the defensive end. I'd like to give a shout out to a good friend of mine watching the game, Mike Shostick, who could not make it here tonight. He wanted to make it here, but he couldn't. Mike, uh, hope you enjoy the shout out. Corsair is coming in shorthanded. Kutro took, to, uh, took a shot, excuse me, with 18 to go now on the new Trier power play. Once a five on three, they scored on that, and now a five on four. 10 seconds to go. Kutro turns it over at center. Loose puck, Trevian's coming in now. Good stick there. Sam Berman led the rush. Two, one, Pirelli's out of the box. Power play over, back to full strength. Here comes the shot from the top of the right circle. A stop there, loose puck in the crease. Grant Strudler makes the save, they score! Trevian score off the rebound. It's a 2-1 game with 7.03 to go. And how the momentum has turned rather quickly. Trevians pick the lead back up or get the lead for the first time today. And now with 7.03 to go, they lead 2-1. to one. So we'll see who gets the credit here. But Grant Strudler made some phenomenal saves. His defense couldn't help him that time. Nick Kutro back the other way. Pucks turned over at the blue line. Trevians come back the other way. A shot. Grant Strudler bobbles the puck around and then makes the save. 6.50 to go in period number three. Carmel has to play catch up now. Corsairs have yet to trail in these playoffs up until this point. The referees and the linesmen, the referee and linesmen rather, talking at the left faceoff dot. And the Corsairs attacking at about dinner maybe? Where are we going to go after this? Don't know. I like that place down the street. Pretty good fish. Yeah, I don't know. It could be it. And that faceoff's going to come back down to the other end of the ice. It'll come into the neutral zone. Don't know why they moved it, but all right, we'll go with it. Wide's going to drop the puck right in front of the Carmel bench. Faceoff's won by the Trevian. 6.46 to go, period three. 2 1 in favor of them, of New Trier. Mikey Wysak picks it up back the other way for the Corsairs. He goes down. No penalty call, though. Pucks loose at the right circle. Corsairs come out with it. Shut an opportunity there. The puck goes wide. Vogel there trying to get it. Rather, Jared Moore. Puck bounces now into the near corner. Back up the, the far side. Corsair is unable to hold on to it. Big check there, and we go back the other way. Trevians pick it up with some speed into the attacking zone. Leading the rush was Matthew Garcia. Back behind the net. The puck goes up and out of play, stopping us, stopping it with 6.05 in period number three, and a penalty coming up. Going to the box is Colin McBride. Two minutes for what have you. Not sure what it is yet. Carmel with their third power play of the game. Kutro comes in up the left circle. Stops at the near corner, the near half boards. Hands it off to his brother, Mike Kutro. Mike Kutro takes it back behind the net to the far side now. Back to Nick. Nick picks it up, far half board. Stop at the right side with Shenaroski now. A shot there. A loose puck! 
and it is frozen by Wallach. He had the initial save, and it bounced off a little too much momentum on the puck. Play continued for a moment, but Wallach was able was finally able to freeze it. The Carmel students on uh, the opposite side of the ice had a better look at that puck than we did. Their loud cheering would indicate that something uh, good was brewing. And it wasn't just the coffee. Face-off is to the right. To the left, excuse me. Corsairs win the face-off. A minute 24 to go. That puck's cleared out to center. Ian O'Connor gets a hold of that puck out of the air. Corsairs come back the other way now. Shenarowski dumps it in at the right point. Down to the near corner, back behind the net. Nick Kutra back to Ian O'Connor, left point. Mike Kutra now back to Nick, left circle. Hands it off to O'Connor again. Kutro lost the puck right in the slot. Ian O'Connor able to hold on. A shot through traffic. Puck bounced off a stick. Brada holds onto it in the far corner. Back behind to Nick Kutro. Looking for Mike at the point. Didn't get him. Back the other way. The Trevians will dump that puck out and try for a shorthanded opportunity. They dump the puck back behind the net. 40 seconds to go on the Carmel power play. Uh, 4.41 to go in period three, two, one in favor of Carmel. Mike Kutrow over the line for the Corsairs. Took a shot, Mike Wallach, or rather Stefan Wallach, with the glove save. Half a minute to go. No clue what the McBride penalty was. But Carmel could really convert, they could really use a conversion on this power play. Puck goes wide and left of the net. White Sack held onto it. Back behind the net, now to the near corner. Trevians get it back, clear it out to center. 16 to go on the Carmel power play. Harma picks it up off the White Sack, up the far boards and past center ice. Try to throw it to Kinnar. Puck bounces out. Marowick gets it, now back to Kinnar, right point. Here comes Kinnar up the far boards. Puck's back behind the net. Penalty over, back to five on five we go. Carmel's 0 for three on the power play tonight. Brad Stradler comes down and he will ice the puck. As he had some Trevians racing down into his crease. Three minutes, 58 seconds to go in the third period. The Corsairs trail by one goal. One goal, that's right. You see the advertisement there for the Blackhawks, one goal. By the way, a tough loss for them last night in Anaheim. Had a goal disallowed. Uh, Brandon Bullig uh, would have had three to one, and then uh, per video review, it was determined that the puck was kicked in. Discounted the goal, and the Ducks came back to win it in Anaheim. That's a tough team there. Back to play we go in high school hockey. Simba. Throws it in from the right point. Shen Roski takes it back behind the net to Joey Brada. Turned over. Held right at the far boards there. Corsairs come back out the other way. Nick Kutro, he made a nice move, but hit some traffic out in front. And Stefan Wallach will, uh, will make the save, but uh, there was some contact after the play. No penalties will be called. Nick Kutro came in and pulled one of his opponents away. He said, don't get involved with it. It's pointless. Good move there by Nick Kutro. Three twenty-five to go. Period three, two, one again. Faceoffs won by Marwick. Takes the puck, centering it to, they score! Mikey Wysak has tied the game with 3.21 to go in period three, two, two. And listen to this crowd here at the edge in Bensonville.
even strength goal, and we are all tied here. Buckle up those seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, because we're in for a ride. Matt Marowick went down. He wanted a penalty. Won't get it. Three minutes, seven seconds to go. Off of Shenderoski's stick into the neutral zone. Shenderoski made a nice move to throw that puck the opposite way. Trevians would have went off sides had they taken that puck and long pass down far enough for icing against the Corsairs, which will bring the face off to the right of Grant Stradler in the Carmel defensive end. Two minutes, 51 seconds to go. New life here in this building, which was dead silent. You could hear a needle or a pin or something drop, whatever the old expression is. That has changed, and Carmel has got the momentum back for now. Mikey Wysak, what a beautiful goal. Couldn't even tell you how it happened. I just know the puck went, hit the net. That's where we are. Joey Brana picks it up. He's got it at the fireboards. Hands it off to Kinnar. Went through Kinnar's skates. If he touches, it'll go off sides. Trevian's come back the other way now. Off the right point, the top of the right circle. Looking for a center attempt. Back behind the net. He'll take the puck over to the, the right circle. Excuse me. Puck bounces off the boards. Kennard picks it up now. He's at the near half boards in the Carmel defensive end. Nick Kutro brings it back out the other way. Carmel could have had a three on two if they hurried. Of course, there's a to dump it in and get a line change here. Carmel will have to hurry to get that done. Puck is turned wide back the other way. Joe Kennard can't seem to find the puck. With now two minutes remaining in regulation time, a 2-2 game. Carmel scored first, and New Trier came back with two, and Carmel then tied it again. Puck is at center ice. Berman there had it. Trevians gained the line. Kenyon had it momentarily. Puck knocked off his stick and out to the left point. Trevians try and play it along the boards. Ian O'Connor will race in to get it back behind the net. Puck bounces out far enough for icing, yes. So the puck will come down to the right as the uh, linesman points, right of Grant Stradler, with a minute 17 to go in period three, and guess what the score is? It's tied. You already probably already knew it. Want to thank you for tuning in tonight, by the way. Hope you're enjoying the game at home. Courtesy of the Carmel Broadcasting Club. Jack Connerkey here with you. Right up the face-off, traffic hit uh, out in front. Taken to the near corner. And Shenaroski picks it up. Defensive end of Carmel. He'll pass it along to Joe Pirelli. Pirelli was ready for it. Now off to Marowick, but the puck was lost at the high slot. Trevian's come back the other way. Ryan Simba now takes it over the blue line into the attacking zone. Jared Moore will race down to get it. Back behind the puck that net net behind the net, that puck win, excuse me. Corsairs come back the other way. Under a minute to go in regulation now. Pirelli in. He takes a shot. That one went up and off of Wallach. Puck back behind the net to the far corner now. With now 34 seconds to go. Trevians get it back. Defensive end. Wysak throws it off. And Carwell trying to prevent some a chance for New Trier. In they go now. Turned over. Course there's back the other way with 13. Joe Pirelli leading the rush up the right point. Takes the shot there. It's turned off the net there by Wallach. As these fans get loud. Five seconds to go now. The puck is thrown into the far corner. Nobody there for Carmel. To overtime we go. 45 minutes couldn't determine the outcome of this one. So the extra period will be added. Sudden death overtime. Next. Yeah, that's fine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the next goal wins in sudden death overtime. The next score. And this is nerve-wracking. State championships or championships in general. 
For those of you Blackhawks fans, you might remember game six in Philadelphia, sudden death overtime. Patrick Kane won it. Ten minutes will be put on the clock, and we don't have an official shots on goal count, but one can infer that the shots on goal are close. And they just told me, they just said something about shots on goal here. It's like listening to a speaker at the end of a mile-long tunnel. Kind of some mumbling, that's all I hear. Both teams get an opportunity to regroup and chat about where they are. (laughs) The Carmel fans here making their presence known again by... running past the benches, making some noise. The goaltenders will maintain their same places. To my left is Stefan Wallach, who's played a fantastic game. And same goes to the goaltender to my right, Grant Strebler. Both goaltenders have uh, contributed as much as a goaltender can. The only thing they haven't done is record an assist or get a goal. Be hard pressed to find a goaltender score a goal at this level or any level. Sudden death for all the marbles. Kutro coming in now. He takes a shot. Hits some traffic out in front. 9.46 to go in the extra period. Overtime. Corsairs get it back. Turned over by Kutro now up the left circle. Puck went off a stick into the defensive end and Go back out the other way. Kutro turns it over. Loose puck at the near half boards. Trevians get it out. Kutro with a big turnover. Trying to come in, but hits some defense out in front. He has all night. Morrowick hands it off to Mike Kutro. Through Mike Kutro, skates down to the near corner. Up to the left point with Nick Harma. Back behind the net it goes. The puck was helped along. Nick Harma kept it in for the Corsairs. 8.57 to go in the fourth period. 2-2. Trevian's in. Puck lost at the top of the left circle. Carmel back the other way now. It's a one-on-two with Joe Pirelli leading it in. He'll take it to the net. He scores! Joe Pirelli picked up the puck and wins state. The Carmel Corsairs are the state champions in 2013 with Joe Pirelli scoring the game winner. How does it feel? Carmel wins in overtime. This is magnificent. A hard hard fought game by both teams. The Trevians of New Trier and the Corsairs of Carmel Catholic High School. Both teams played three solid periods in about a minute and 21 seconds worth of it as well. Carmel, again, ladies and gentlemen, the state champions, the trophy will be presented here momentarily. What a fantastic end to this game and to these playoffs. And I'm so excited I put the goal in the penalty box. Oh well. The Carmel fans cheer loudly. They make their presence well known. Now for some post game. Yeah. We are gonna, I'm gonna transition down to ice level and get some interviews. We will take a break. We'll be back in a moment.
was that I think Pirelli was involved in all the goals tonight too. He was on those lines for sure. So Alright. Now New Trier getting a round of applause. Doing an excellent job as they get the uh, runner-up trophy there. And now they'll shake hands. Introduce everybody and shake hands. You were out on air for a moment. Oh, you were talking on air. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Jack, I'm handing things over to Jack Connerkey. He's going to take it down into the ice here and talk to some of the players. Go ahead, Jack. It's all yours, buddy. I'm going to go celebrate. Thank you very much. Just going to make sure that we are all being heard on the other end here. And we can be heard just fine. That's the good news. So uh, at the moment, the, the runners up of New Trier White are being introduced, shaking hands with the champion Carmel Corsairs. Pardon me one more time, sir. Sorry about that. Again, Jack Connor, he went here at ice level now. As all players are being introduced, shaking hands with every member of the Corsairs in this great tradition of hockey. We hope to get some interviews with the, the Corsairs who had big nights. Joe Pirelli, who had the game winner in overtime. And you see how this all finished here. The Trevians tied it up. Joe Pirelli, the man who actually took the four-minute penalty, a four-minute minor for misconduct, went to the box. What became eventually a five-on-three after Zach Jendorowski took a penalty as well. The Trevians would go on to score. They tied up the game and leave it to Joe Pirelli in overtime. So again, we wait for the introductions uh, or the, the honoring of uh, both teams. Play stopped at 8.39 in this fourth period in overtime and a runners up uh, banner will be handed off to the new Trier's blue team who has to now rather their white team who now takes a team photo and I'm sure it's and not an easy photo to take after losing in overtime and let me tell you a very hard fought game by the Trevians uh, as they get a picture now of their state second place banner in this 2013 Blackhawk Cup playoff. Now it's time for Carmel. You hear the screams here from all the Carmel fans who came out. New Trier as a program will have another shot at a state championship on Sunday night. Vanderfall takes a picture. Nick Kutro. Big cheers there. But 
been a hard fought game and like I said Carmel gets a winning record this season. They finished with a winning record one game over 500. It's the final standing. And what a great game Brant Stradler played. With the exception of the two goals he allowed. He was perfect in this game and he was perfect in this postseason. What a great way for these seniors to go out. Trophy introduction. You see Matt Marwick will come over and get the Carmel flag. Zach Shenaroski getting a loud cheer from fans. Including Mikey Wysak as well. Carmel will form uh, at their own blue line. And the presentation of the championship trophy. Head coach is, uh, he gets a picture with the smaller one. And the banner will be presented now. And the chant of seniors commences here at the Edge in Bensonville. A good fan base turned out here tonight. 150, maybe 200 students from Carmel. And a great amount of fans as well. The banner. And now the championship trophy. And the trophy will be uh, skated on over. Now we wait. here now with Joe Pirelli. The game winning goal in overtime you scored there. Tell, walk me through that goal and walk me through the fact that you took a four minute penalty there that gave up one of the goals. It became a five on three. That was a, big, a difficult time for this team I'd imagine. A very trying time. You came out in overtime. Tell me just how it all happened. Oh well, uh, the puck came in our zone. We brought the puck in our zone and um, they gave it up and uh, Zach Chenarowski got the puck. Saw me heading up ice and he passed it to me. I started skating up the side, and uh, I saw that there was one guy coming up on me, and um, I just took it, tried beating him, and I saw an opening, and I just shot it. Just hoping it was What were your thoughts when that puck hit the net? Wow. <laughs> it's, it's not, can't explain it. Game-winning goal in the state championship game in OT. Some, something you could dream of. New Trier gave you a run for, for their money throughout the game. They really fought hard, they fought back. What, uh, just throughout the course of the game, what did the guys say on the bench? What did your teammates say to each other that allowed you to get away with this win here tonight? Oh, uh, we just had to uh, stay positive. Don't get down on ourselves when something bad happened. Like when I got my four minute penalty, um, coach was pretty mad, but he didn't let it get to uh, the players, so he 
just stay positive. I said this to Mikey Wysak after the win the other night against St. Ignatius. I'll say it to you. Fourth and final year at Carmel Catholic High School. You've played in this program all four years, enduring so many hard hits, getting one of your eyes almost knocked out last year. How does it feel to finally be the state champion? It feels phenomenal. Joe, go enjoy this one. Thank you. All right. That's Joe probably for you with the game winning goal in overtime. That'll do it from down here. Again, the Corsairs win it in overtime. The final three to two. Carmel comes in and beats the new Tre Trevians. And you see how it all how it all was won. Well, that's it. That ends our coverage here tonight of Carmel Hockey. The Corsairs again, the state champions in 2013. And for these seniors, it's an emotional moment. Guys who will never play hockey again. End on a good note. I'm Jack Connerkey again. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. We know you enjoyed the outcome. The course series again. Three. The Trevians two in overtime. This has been a presentation of the Carmel Catholic High School Broadcasting Club.